In this Banner How-To video, I will show you how to install an EDS file for Banner's DXM R90-4K IO-Link Master, and how to install an AOI for Banner's Q5X IO-Link Laser Distance Measurement Sensor on an Allen Bradley Control Logix PLC using Studio 5000. The EDS file sets up communication between the IO-Link Master and the Control Logix PLC. The AOI file parses out the Q5X IO-Link process data in and the process data out information. The IO-Link process data in information is stability, channel 1 state on or off, channel 2 state on or off, measurement 1 which is the distance measurement, and measurement 2 which is the gain value. There's also process data out information which uh, turns the laser on and off. You will need to download four files from BannerEngineering.com. The first two files are located on the Q5X series page. Scroll down to Downloads and under Product Data Files, download the Q5X IODD file and unzip it. There is an IODD reference file we will need to refer to later. Under the PLC Support Files, download the Q5X IO Link AOIs file and unzip it. We will need to access this file for the AOI installation process. Next, go to the DXMR90 4K IO Link Master product page. Scroll down to Downloads and under Product Data Files, download the DXM Controller EDS file and unzip it. We will need access to this file during the EDS installation process. If you wish to change the default IP address on the DXMR90 4K IO Link Master, download and install the IO Link configuration software located under Software. For reference, we need to open up this file. It's located under the unzipped IODD file folder. Under Process Data In, we will find the size of the process data which we will need when installing the AOI. In this case, the size is 4, 4 octets of information. If you wish to change the IP address on the IO Link Master, using a LAN, connect your PC to the IO Link Master via the Ethernet port, install and run Banner IO Link configuration software, Click on Connect, make sure Ethernet is selected, click on Connect again. If your Q5X is already connected to the IOLink Master, the IODD not loaded message pops up. You do not need the IODD file loaded for this how-to video, so click Cancel. Click on Device and then on IP settings and enter the desired IP address and cycle power. Now we're going to install the EDS file. For demonstration purposes I'm going to select an empty test project. Click on tools, EDS hardware installation tool, click on next, click on next again, Browse, browse for the EDS file that you downloaded and unzipped. Then next, 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 finish. So we go over to the controller organizer and we select Ethernet and right click on it select new module the select new module window pops up enter DXM select it click on create name it IO Link Master 1 IP address 192.168.0.1 and click on OK and then close and here you will see the new DXM module right here. Now I'm going to install the AOI for the Q5X under the controller organizer, I'm going to right click on add on instructions, import add on instructions. 
I need to go to the location where I saved and unzipped the file I downloaded from Banner Engineering, which is right here. It's the Ionic AOIs, and I want the process data AOI. Open it. Click OK. And you'll see here that's installed. Uh, these are the UDTs, the user definable tags. I'm going to open up an example routine, add a rung, I'm going to drag over the AOI. I need to enter the information in here. So I'm going to right click here, add a new tag. The new tag's name is Q5X underscore IO link master one underscore port one underscore process data underscore status. Click create. Then next to PD here, right click on the question mark, new tag again, Q5X underscore IO link master one underscore port one underscore process data and then create. For configuration just click on the question mark and enter zero and for byte swap click on the question mark and enter zero. I now need to add three operations, a CPS operation and two move operations. CPS is located under file miscellaneous. I need to put that before the AOI. And then the two move operations after the AOI. And now I need to enter this information here. So here I'm going to double click on the question mark, drop down menu. Go to data input, click on the zero. In this case, I'm going to enter 184 for the array element. I could scroll down and choose it, but this is a little bit quicker. And then I need to choose the destination. So again, double click, drop down. This time I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Go to PD right here. PDIDT, and then array element zero in this case. The length is four. That's the information we got from the IODD reference file that we downloaded. Four bytes of information of process data. And now I need to enter the information in the move operations here. So under the first one here, double click on the question mark, drop down. Scroll down, and choose Transducer Disable. Then double click on Destination, and we want Output Data. Again, click on the, the zero, and in this case, enter 182. For the second move, for source here, we're going to just enter a 1. And then the destination, we're going to double click on. Go to IO link output, data output. Again, choose 0, but this case we're going to enter 181. There, we're done entering the information. I can verify the controller now. Yay, zero errors. So then I go under communications and I download this to the PLC. Click download. Click yes, and we are up and running. Now to show this working real time, right click on the process data here, monitor it. Under 
process data here, expand it, expand again, and here's your information. We've got the output state for channel 1 and channel 2, stability and measurement 1 and measurement 2, gain and the actual distance. So as you can see here, it's, it's changing real time as I manipulate the sensor. And that's it.